You don't have to be smart No need to dress up for me To see that you're a good man You're a good man a real good man When the wind blows And the windows are closing You let the world know What it's been, has been and There's no use In looking back Going back Wishing back And chopping wood Can be romantic Sipping coffee under the apple tree It's gentlemanly Well, you're a good man Quite the best man A real fine man What I wanted to do with this piece was to literally just let pure emotion ride on the canvas. I, I wanted to look at a very special piece of music. Elgar wrote his fifth um, cello concerto and it's one of the most beautiful pieces of music you'll ever hear. It's harrowing, it's um, uplifting, it's reflective, it's sad, it's beautiful, it's electric, it's, um, it's extraordinary and it takes you on this journey of inward and outward expression. And that piece of music was then played um, by Jacqueline Dupre very famously on her cello and she was an extraordinary woman in that with this piece of wood and a bow and a few strings attached to this piece of wood, she was able to do something, it's very hard to explain, but do something so magical and go to a place both inwardly looking into herself, but then also outwardly expressing something that, that you, you just, doesn't happen very often. And that's what I find really quite inspiring. What I'm trying to do is disengage the mind. But that sort of explosion of emotion, where I'm deep in the subconscious, will always happen on the floor. Sometimes, not always, I will, if I feel I want to enter this piece in a different way, a different angle, and get another layer on it that's, that has a slight juxtaposition, because I feel that's, that's what, what it needs and what could elevate it to another place, then I will mount it on the wall, which I am thinking of doing with this piece, actually. Um, and I will sort of step back at it from another angle and then come into it again. And it can often create this really interesting other layer that is slightly off center. And then I might put it back on the floor again probably where I'll go with this, who knows, but I'm thinking that's where I'll, I'll be going. Um, so you'll sort of have that layer and then you'll do that with it on the wall and then that final layer of will be right off here, 
but will bring it all together. In, in the same way that a cellist or a violinist does it with a piece of wood and a bow, I wanted to do that with paint, which is what my work's all about, really. It's the, what else is the point of painting? What else is the point of being an artist? What else is the point, really, other than to tap into your emotions and, and find something really magical um, that can take you to another dimension? So, in the same way that she did it with wood and, and a bow, um, I, I want to do it with, with brush and this sort of substance that has colour in it. So it's a very similar thing. My bow is, is my brush, and my piece of wood is my canvas, and the strings are the paint. In the same way that Jacqueline Dupre playing this piece of music talks to me in the most extraordinary way, the idea is that the painting talks to me, and hopefully to others, um, and it becomes just this, this dialogue, um, very rich, layered dialogue. I'm Sasha Jaffrey, painter, I uh, live and work in London and um, was approached to create the um, Lion King elephant for the Elephant Parade. The Elephant Parade is something that was set up in Holland originally and it's similar to the other parades of which you've had things like the Cow Parade, um, various other ones around the world and this is an aid set up by the Elephant Family charity in England to save the Indian elephant. Disney's always been a big part of my life. Jungle Book, Lion King, um, I mean there's loads and they're sort of very very important to me and they've been this big inspiration. I love the music, I love the whole escapism of it but I also love the fact there's always this little underlying message and everyone can sort of dip into it in their own way and it's like this magical world. And my, my work is linked to that in that my work is based on magical realism. So my paintings aim to sort of represent reality but in a magical way. The whole idea of the circle of life, the way the, the animals relate to each other, the way they go on a journey through life, all this, this sort of story, it, it does happen, it is reality, but it's this magical twist to it. And that's what brings it alive, that's what makes us alive inside. I looked through um, various books and, and the DVDs, and I was lucky enough to be taken backstage and see all the fabrics and shells and beadings that are incredibly elaborate. These things are all done to such a level that you don't notice them it becomes this, this weave, this story, this magical world that you can lose yourself in. And that's what I wanted to do with the elephant. I wanted to sort of touch on all those different stage moments. These sort of birds flying and then um, the stampede, which is really clever. That's a really clever moment. And then sort of get all that across in the elephant, but, but also get across the story. The sketch itself took two weeks um, to sort of work out how that was all going to develop. Painting hours, I don't know, a minimum of 200 hours, but it's a real honor um, to do it, and I want to get it right. Um, and so it'll just keep building, and I'm very, very near completion now. So this elephant um, will be on display in Covent Garden from uh, the first week of May. There's close to 250, and then the 20 main elephants, of which this one is one, will be um, auctioned.
close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest
deserves you Go with someone like me